This week is World Retinoblastoma Week, a week to spread awareness about one of the rarest forms of childhood cancer. K2 Savannah Welch introduces us to a young survivor whose parents are sharing his story in the hopes other families will know the signs to look for. This is Jackson. He's almost two years old. He's full of energy. He's <laughs> super happy, as you can tell. And at his young age, he's already survived a rare and severe childhood cancer. It was last May. Um, we would see like a white reflection in his pupil from like across the room or in pictures. He kind of knew like in a sense that it was retinoblastoma. I didn't know much about it, um, but he called and he got him in right away. Retinoblastoma. It's a cancer that develops in the retina of the eye. It can be genetic or form spontaneously. In Jackson's case, it was genetic. But Jackson's parents say doctors in California missed the signs, so they went to OHSU. He um, came to us uh, with tumors in both eyes. And because of his history of dad having had retinoblastoma, we knew he would have a germline or one non-functioning copy of the RB1 gene. And so given the size of the tumors in his eyes, we started with systemic chemotherapy. After several rounds of chemo, Jackson's left eye is fully healthy. His right eye, however, did not respond to treatment. It was removed to ensure his long-term health, and he was fitted with a prosthetic. Where's your eye? The eye. Good job, that's your eye. Retinoblastoma is very rare. Only two to 300 kids are diagnosed every year in the U.S., and there are certain signs to look for. So the most common symptom that parents bring their children to us for is what we call leukocoria, or when the pupil of the eye turns white. So sometimes parents will notice this when a light is shining on their kids. They'll walk past a light and one eye will look red and one eye will look white. Here's what leukocoria looks like. So on the website for the American Association of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus, you can see the clear difference between the two eyes. So on the left is a normal healthy eye. On the right, that's the eye that has the leukocoria. So if you're seeing this in your child, you should have this checked. Retinoblastoma as a single pediatric cancer is very rare. So most families and most parents have never heard of this. And so having them be aware of the signs to look for and making sure to advocate for their kids with the pediatricians and making sure that they're getting their um, eye exams at their follow-up visits is really important. By sharing their story, Jackson's parents hope to raise awareness for this rare disease. Savannah Welch, K2 News.